We're live. We're live. It's happened. Okay, Boom. everybody. <laughs> Technical uh, difficulties because uh, I don't know why. We have technical difficulties. It's okay. it's okay. But we're here. We're here and I'm very, very excited. And we might come back because we messed up. But um, I'm here today with Maram Hassler. Ooh. I'm not going to dive. <laughs> All right. She's an amazing, um, I mean, God, you're everything. She's an actress. She's a musician. She's a writer. She's a. How do you know about the music thing? I went to your website. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, goodness. It's really good music. <laughs> I, you know, I was going to tell you that if. I wish I had known because I could have used it in the show. Oh, I would have loved that. Oh, well, and next, next time. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, Maram is sort of like a renaissance woman, let's call her, because she does I like everything. That. I like that. I'm going to steal that. <laughs> steal that. And, um, and she's here to join us to talk about life and art yep. and her world. And, um, and uh, I want to start by saying Maram and I go back to about four or five four years ago, but we didn't really get to know each other very well until recently, which is why I was extremely touched when uh, I started working on Crazy Bitches with her, what do we call him? We don't. <laughs> oh, with a friend of hers, and Maram volunteered to shoot all our stills yeah. on Crazy Bitches. She makes, she, she shot some beautiful pictures. So. As we're rolling out Crazy Bitches and we're rolling out uh, some of the behind the scenes content, it's all going to be Maram's stuff. So be on the lookout for that. The reason why I really signed up for this was because I I wanted to shadow you. Like, okay, Jane, you guys know that, but she's an amazing, amazing director. And just to have the opportunity, remember that first meeting you took with yeah. me? You were so kind. You just came down, I think it was the coffee bean, mm -hmm. and we had a coffee and we talked. And I was just like, okay, so how do I go about this directing stuff? And you were like, well, you know, you just kind of do. I was like, ah, <laughs> ooh, bubbles. And um, so when the opportunity arose that I could actually follow you on set, and it changed my life. Like, oh, come on. No, it did. And I, you guys have to understand that every morning she would come and she'd say hi to every single person. And I don't mean just like, oh, hi, hey, hey, oh, oh, oh. No, it was like, hi, I see you. I appreciate you. Thank you for being there. And I've taken that on my sets. And oh, I good. hope I can share that, pay that spirit oh, that's forward. That's good. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think that it's really important when you're, I mean, in our position, people are working for very little money. And it's kind of grueling work at times. They're really yeah. long hours. And you're always asking for a favor. Can you please, you know, stay an extra hour? Can we please push lunch? Because I'm not going to be ready. And, um, so I just feel like everybody should know that their time is valuable and that I am grateful and but, but good, I'm glad. Yeah, you, you yeah. unlock trust, I would say that. She yeah. unlocks trust, which is why I'm here in this tub. Cause yeah. This is my first time in a tub. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. Okay, so Maram has never been in a hot tub before this. <laughs> I That's, don't know what that says about me, but yeah. Well. I don't know. I don't know if, if Do everybody have, has been in a hot tub, if that's kind of normal or not. I don't know. We should put it out for like... If, if, you, is... if you have never been in a hot tub, let us know. I'd team be curious Marum. to see how many people yeah, are on <laughs> Team Marum. Um, so, uh, first thing I wanted to do is sort of dive into, I think, something that's most on your in your heart at the moment, yeah. which is pen pals. Yes, it is. Yeah. So Maram is not only our behind the scenes photographer, she's not only a model, she's not only a musician, she's not only a, but she's a writer director and she's got her own project. So I yeah. wanted to talk about it because I also wanted to get to the, because she, <laughs> she brought some show and tell. I get it, I um, get it. I'm just going to bring them in. She's going to so bring them in. This is Otto. And as you can see, this is Otto. Yeah, let me see. Okay. And this is Ludmilla. You see? And these are octopuses. And no, it's not octopi. Ew. So oh, it fun. rolled. It uh, rolled. It's real. So okay. these are called wet specimen. It, oh, yeah. Yeah. So I can they're, see. They're real. Um, see, it's wet. <laughs> and they're fun. We were actually looking for the shoot. So there's a scene in, in my movie where um, one of the characters who is a performance artist has to kind of like do this thing on stage with these octopuses. And uh, it was... She told me later on, and this is, by the way, my, my business partner and dearest, dearest friend, Andrea Goldman. She said, I'm, I'm considering going to law after this. Oh. <laughs> she was, 
She's like, oh my god. So it was a, it was she a dead. Sit with it on she her, had right? to sit with it for eight hours. And, you know, as anything that's not supposed to be in the air kind of starts to decay. Yeah. After certain, and the smell oh. was oh. unbelievable. So her hair, and what you don't know is that octopuses, they retain their muscle kind of thing. So <gasps> the tentacles were super <gasps> like, oh, it was, it was oh. really crazy. Very that fun. That is crazy. Um, no, but the, the film I'm really excited about because it's about, a lot of it has to do with sex. And uh, I think it's a really important uh, topic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I do. I, I think sex that is um, not in the 20s, maybe not in the 30s, it's sex that changes because we change, you know? And yeah. so the sex is sort of the, the way in for four characters and we, we follow their lives and how they grant fucking up like tremendously and then make it up and not quite, but yet. And, and we love them, hopefully, yeah. by the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's tricky because you're dealing with a lot of on-set nudity, I'm assuming, and I am, sexual yes. content on, you know, the performance of sexual content, Yes. which um, I think is, is, directing that is a skill unto itself because you have to really make people feel comfortable. You have, you to have make a lot of that on sec um, Crazy Bitches. You had to deal with that, right? I. Yeah, we did have. Yeah. We had more than I, I remember. Actually, <laughs> I took the pictures. <laughs> she took the pictures. Um, yeah, but that's why I'm saying, you know, and you yeah. know, especially for a first-time feature director. Oh yeah. You know, um, actors, you have to sort of feel your way around them because some actors are just like like Carrie on Crazy Bitches. We had uh, Carrie Allison Hodge, wonderful actress. And she has a sex scene in the tub with, a, a, you know, a cute guy. So I'm sure it wasn't painful, but but she's naked and she's yeah. in the tub and they're playing sex she's and amazing. there's all these guys standing around watching and and you have you know you have to worry about are they going to be comfortable are they not going to be comfortable and the interesting thing about Carrie was I always do a I don't know if you did a nudity rider did you do a nudity yes, rider yes we had to yeah so I always do a nudity rider and I it, I always ask what are you comfortable with what are you not right and I was like we need to write this down mm. and she's like nah Mm. I'm like, no, you know, let's write down what you're comfortable with. I want you to feel comfortable on the set. And, that's smart. and she's like, nah, it's all matter, It's all good. It's all fine. Wow. I'm like, okay. And it was on the day. And it was. Yeah. She was absolutely 100% in. But I, but but then you have other actors that are, are not. Who not. Definitely. Like, and, and simply because they get scared. Right? Yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's an emotion we can relate to being something they get. Um, we were really good. We had this modesty kind of tent around us. So we had two nice. girls in a bathtub, yeah. and it's a it's a very um, passionate scene. And um, so, whenever we call cut, that modesty screen would come up, mm. and and we could we just relocate them in the tub and all of that. But but I will say, you know, and I'm I'm putting this question to you as an actress as well. Mm. Did you think when you started directing that you would kind of just know how to talk to actors and you had to learn something extra? No, you know, I no. Oh, interesting. Actually, I know because I clearly because, I was hoping for a different response. <laughs> because She's I had I had right. no no. It's just that I had my own experience as an actress on a set with nudity and sexual content. I understood the vulnerability, but I also have played with actresses that had less inhibitions. Inhibitions. Yeah. And so um, I think, you know, I always approach acting actors each as an individual anyway. Like yeah. no, no actor is the same. You don't, you don't direct an actor the same way you direct the next actor. Each person okay. needs a different way of talking and explaining and finding outlet. And so I know I just kind of put that same philosophy on the on the sex. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, I, I'm i too, um, you're out of frame. I'm out of frame. Oh my God, that <laughs> the, girl. The alcohol will always pull me just like in the direction of <laughs> your hand. <laughs> um, but I, I, I've had opposite problems where I've been too worried. Okay, and the uh, actors were totally cool. And the actors were cool, and yeah. you know, and it had, to, in the one particular case, it had to do with guys. Which and I found more difficult. They were fine. Oh, how strange. Can no. you just switch sets? Can you do yeah, that? no. Oh, really? So yeah. So your, your male actor was more uncomfortable and than yours. We, no, I mean, I don't want to, you know, not out anybody, but like, they, and I, I haven't shot the nudity yet. It, hold on. Is it difficult finding actors who, who will do, do nude scenes? scenes? Well, I'm not having a hard time finding them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I've put all my friends in my movie, so. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, um... I, I find that, you know, if you put it in the breakdown when it goes out, yeah, 
that actors will either respond to it or not. And then it's a level of how much will they do, what are they comfortable with, and it's a negotiation. And yeah, I mean, sometimes they put their feet down and you have to go, I'm either okay with limiting what I'm doing or no, that just doesn't work for what we're shooting. Yeah, I think the key word is simulated, that they really love. Has that changed with me too? Oh, that is Ooh, an interesting that's question. that's a good question. I think it depends on the context hmm. of the scene. So I haven't had actors having a problem with the nudity because they signed up to the storytelling and the characters right. pursuit of the truth of that storytelling and they're totally committed to do that. Um, but yeah, I think it's a great question. That's a great question. You know, I will tell you that um, for me on the set of Crazy Bitches this last uh, December when we were shooting the web series, I found myself more conscious of what I was saying oh. to oh, the primarily oh. to the women. <laughs> um, because I can get kind of raunchy sometimes. Did, and... I got into trouble. Did you? Yeah, I got reprimanded by a by a producer who said you cannot say this. And what? Well, it was it was a very. Can you tell me what you said? Yeah, I th it was a um, an assistant wardrobe assistant. We've been working three days together, and she was so cute and so like really the last day dressing up. It was hot. I mean, she really put thought into her outfit. And I said, yeah. "You look so hot." And the producer came up to me and said, you can't say this now anymore. And I had to go up to her and apologize and say, if I offended you in any shape or form, I'm very sorry. Which has prompted me then to put on my call sheets, I will swear. Um, uh, yeah, I, yeah, so if you have a problem with that, then maybe it might not be good to work together. Uh, what was her response? She was taken aback. She's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. Totally, yeah. So. Well, I think that's the thing. It's like, I mean, I think it's an intention is part of the situation. So like I would never go into a scene, a nude scene or a sex scene um, being less than cognizant of how I'm talking to somebody, but I never did. But that's actually interestingly part of my story with uh, a couple of guys I worked with years ago on Meth Head. And they were, you know, I was like, nobody pulls down their pants. There's no nudity on the set. It's underwear and we're gonna, and it's all yeah. gonna, and no. And then I told the whole crew, there's no. John. This is special. Hey, John. I love you, John. Thank uh, you, thank you, thank you. So I said, I, to I told the crew, I was like, there's no making jokes, no rude jokes when these guys get done their shot. And the first thing out of Lucas Haas's mouth when he walks out <laughs> is some crude, stupid joke. So the actor sort of took it away and said, no, we're like, this is, we know what we're doing and this is cool. Yeah. But. But it has made me more conscious. Interesting. Um, does it stun with your... people I don't know? With people I don't know. Right. But does right. it stunt your communication? No. Hey, Hi, Sherry. Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Hi. <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. I don't think it stunts communication. Is there is one? It in CB2? In CB2. Oh, good question. Uh, yes. Boom. Uh, yes, without a doubt, and, and it's yes, beautiful. without a doubt, and it is, I, and it is beautiful. beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, talk about nudity becoming art you know um, what I mean so it yeah. is really it is yeah. it is really lovely and there's a couple of very hot scenes that I you know with crazy bitches one I was worried about uh, ratings you know I right. and I didn't I wasn't I wanted to get a PG-13 because I thought young girls you might want to watch safe? it are you saying you played it safe? I, I played it safe with the nudity and yeah. with the fucks I like I, I removed a bunch of fucks mm. yeah but um, on this one I was like oh fuck it Fuck it, that's half the fucks. F fuck it, yeah, that's it right. Just, yeah, it just didn't make sense because, I don't know, the rules are different on the web except I find out that they actually aren't to some degree. Oh. So, I but mean, I have, like, full supported. frontal on, a, on, you know, on at least one person and I've had to cut it out because, actually, you can't put it on iTunes. But your characters warrant that. Like, I, th I think they were passionate and it didn't seem like an alien word for them to yeah. say. You know what I mean? It really was. Yeah. I mean, how many times do you catch yourself in the presence of children, you'll, you'll tone it down, but like fuck really expresses a multitude of sentiments, yeah. you know, and you don't, it's a shortcut yeah. um, to many things. I just have to say, uh, for, for those people who don't know, John is actually the writer, creator of Riley Parr. Oh. And I want to say thank you. All I right. love you. For those of you Rally that forever. also don't know, um, if you want to see Maram in something current, there's a show called Riley Para. It's on Telefilms, so it's telefilms.com. Yep. Yeah. And um, she does a wonderful job. She's such a talented oh, actress. And what's what's the uh, tell them a little bit about the premise? Of the, the premise is a is a cop um, who is fighting in her town the forces of angels and demons, and um, 
you know, just navigating through through that landscape of danger and, and self-realization, she she finds the love of her life in the shape of Liz Vassy. And if you guys you guys know who Liz Vassy is, it's not difficult to play that part. Um, so she was my love interest. Um, some wonderful wonderful uh, actors that came on board for sure. So it's a lot of fun to watch. I think, and you have two seasons. We do. Oh, yes. Right. So it's there, and it's good, and it's worth checking out if you haven't already. Um, just to at the very very least to get to know who Maram is because I think you're gonna see her a lot more and you're gonna want to know who she is and follow her and no. I do I mean I think you're really talented and thank you I'm we I'm writing her a role <laughs> so that's how talented I think she is I love it I'm excited. So, I mean Talk it's, o it's open to her no it's open to you really you tell me I, I had an idea of like based on a, a old conversation we yeah had, I had an idea of where we go now the premises were set on a we're on a soundstage for a soap opera. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it anything to do with... Oh. <laughs> Undercover? No. Oh, okay. Adventure at sea. No. Oh, damn it. No, it's, it's a soap opera. I'm just gonna give up the bees. <laughs> it's a soap opera. <laughs> But, you know, you could be, what, what have you never played? Like, what is a role you've always wanted to play? Oh. That nobody has seen you do. Like, right. something out there. I think completely batshit crazy, over the top, crazy. Crazy like, lady. Crazy yeah, in what way? Because yeah. there's a lot of ways that crazy can right, just, manifest. Justify through life. You know, life has made you crazy because... You might have tried to get it right all the time. You might have pleased everybody all the time. You might have had great loss uh, that was never really accepted or, or touched upon. And, and the, the, the culmination of that is that you're going crazy because nobody's seeing you in your skin, you know? Yeah. So, okay. I like big. That would be fun. Because right, I usually play like understated. I like, big mm. is fun. All right. No, that sort of fits with what I was thinking. Right. Because we talked about this. I don't know if you remember. I we do. were at the Dinah, <laughs> which is hollow. Walked off the carpet that I was like too nervous to walk down. You look um, fabulous. Oh, please. Uh, I had white one night. They were doing a white night and I was oh. wearing white. And I'm like, why the fuck did I listen to them? Why did I, I wear know. white? I did oh too. my God, that's awful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we talked a little bit about this idea that you would be a telenovela star. I love that. Big hair. Like, Can you eyes. do a Spanish accent? Okay. Because you'd have to work. I, you think you'd have to work up a spine. Every time I look at you, Jane, I just want to. I want to. I don't even know what I want to because I'm so crazy. My head, my head is so crazy. My hair is crazy. That's, okay. That's all I can do. So, wine. If you need tequila. Well, yeah. no, that's no, my fault. I, you know, no, I begged her not um, to. We had tequila. <laughs> we did. For any of you that doubt that I had to kill it in the refrigerator, freezer, I did. But I got. I was a little nervous. Right. The life thing, you know. So here, this is what we're gonna do. You are gonna be a telenovela star. We're gonna yeah. make her bigger than life. Yes. She's gonna be. We're gonna reveal her crazy as we go along. I'm like three twins in one, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three headed. Split, 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 split personality, maybe. <laughs> oh, I love or it. Or what's it called? Um, oh, schizophrenic. Sybil. Sybil. She'll be Sybil. I love her. <laughs> so, okay, we'll do that. And, um... High heels, big hair. Oh, yeah, you're always gonna... And, you know, that's great, because uh, Guinevere is gonna hate... Or not Guinevere, but her character, Rhea, is gonna hate this woman who is competing in high heels only... Oh, bless. That's you hard know, to a foot with her. A foot taller. Whew. But she'll, she'll love it. She'll she's, love it. She's, she's hard to compete with. She complained to me the whole time we were shooting that I made her wear flats, yeah. So... Anyway, um, this was short. This was too short, and I think Maren will come back when I figure out how to how to landscape this. Maybe thing. Maybe if we YouTube went like thing. this, you know, like just try one take. So anyway, <laughs> no, no, so I'm not buying it. Oh. So we're just gonna have you back, okay? I'd love that. Okay, so Maren will come back a little bit later in the hot tub season. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for tuning in, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, oh, uh, we are like as we speak. I am getting ready to send all the crazy bitches content to Ooh. the person that is going to tell us whether we are quality or not it's, qual it's called quality. it's called quality control and you have to go through it to get up on itunes and you know amazon and hulu and all those places so um so we're we're sending it out there our goal is to release on february 14th valentine's, valentine's day. day with a twist which is about 
four years, one day off, four years to the day we released Crazy Bitches, which feels mm -hmm. weird that all that time passed so fast, but it did. I'm very excited to bring the show to you. It is, it is so much fun. Mary, I'm seeing it. Even. It's really funny. I it's, can't even. Didn't you call it binge worthy? Yeah, I did. I binged it <clears throat> twice. Twice? Yeah, you're welcome. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's really so fun. much fun. And um, check out Maram on Riley Para on telefilms.com. Also, where else can they find you? Um, on all the social media handles. So Maram Hassler on Instagram, on Facebook. I'm not big on Twitter. I just like don't like when my yeah, words are like, either. Yeah. you know, anyways. Yeah. Um, yeah, Instagram is my favorite one. I do reply to personal DMs. Okay, great. Yeah. And you have a website. Yeah, I do. MaramHassler.com. All right. I adore you all. I thank you and happy holidays to everybody if I don't see you next happy week. Holidays. Uh, it's snowing. I think that our guest next week is Shannon Reeves. <gasps> My girl. I love yeah. I'm going to tune. Can I come? You can come. You come and you can come I in the love sit. You can sit back there. <laughs> and she'll bring her she'll bring her bikini this time. Oh, it's just and, um, stalking yeah, you guys. Yeah, she was our she was our first AD on the show and she was really great and I love her. She's also a DP, an actress, a stunt she woman. Does she did some stunts for me when something didn't work and just, like she pinched it. Yeah. Anyway, she's great. I hope you guys will tune in. I love you all. Hugs thank back you, thank to you. you. And, oh, Sherry, an approximate release date, Sherry, is uh, February 14, 2019. So two months from now, basically. Um, That's awesome. But I will, I will nail down that release as soon as I pass quality control, and, uh, and I will let you guys know. So thank you. Share. Pass along. Let's thank build you. a Love community. Bye. Bye. And let me figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> I don't know if that just turns it off. All right. Oh, no, you guys.